Res 2, dive near the payload if you're gonna die. What's up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. Cause I did. It's not like I'm just not wrecking Reaper in the background. I mean it's, it's happening. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. It's pretty much of a badass one. People liked it. Um, you know, the people that I was playing with, these are just randoms that I joined with and we ended up winning the game. So I mean I'm doing badass in Overwatch and I might stream later too, so stay tuned for that. So anyways, today people, our main topic of today is going to be Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you guys haven't seen the trailer, just, just check it out because it looks amazing. Just like the first one that we saw for Battlefront 1. Now, my experience with Battlefront, I mean, I played the beta, I did play the full game, and I'm, t I'm telling you right now, it was, seeing, well, it was actually pretty good in the graphics, to be honest. Like, the graphics department was pretty much amazing. Something that they have never done before. It just looked amazing overall. And then, um, you know, the gameplay-wise, um, I mean, it was just so simple. It looked like it was just pleasing those casuals. That's how much, pretty much it was. And it didn't look competitive. It didn't look, like, very, you know... Um, difficult to use because every single gun had low amount of recoil. That's the that was the biggest problem with Battlefield One. It was it was just like pleasing the casuals, and it was just so bad. And I kind of wish they they did more with, with Battlefield One because that's gonna establish the series a little bit stronger. But now it looks weaker, and it looks like it's gonna pull off a Watch Dogs Two. If you guys did not know, Watch Dogs Two, I mean, it was it didn't sell pretty much good. Not a lot of YouTubers reported on it either. So. It's going to look something similar like that, but I doubt because, you know, Star Wars does have a big fan base, so it could still be a, an accomplishment. It still could be a good game, but, uh, you know, who knows? You know, in popularity, it will, but let's see how it works with gameplay-wise because, you know, Battlefront 1, I'm telling you, it wasn't that good. But um, I think EA might have learned their lesson with the first one, you know, pretty much, you know, putting everything in DLC, especially the maps. I mean, the maps were not that... Well, they, some of them were great. It's just that they were like around four or five maps. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and also the weapon-wise. I mean, the weapons, there were some variety. Just every single weapon different was that, um, you know, the iron sight, of course, the iron sight. Uh, but uh, at the same time, the recoil didn't change much. The only thing that would change in every single gun was the rapid fire. You can choose the slowest amount of rapid fire and it'll still make the same damage. You can choose the highest amount of rapid fire. It'll still do the same damage, too. So it's just something that really... You know doesn't make a difference it kind of feels like you're playing the same game over and over again no matter how much you level up no matter how much you change your clothes it's still the same game that's why it grew stale in a matter of time so star wars battlefront was pretty much of a of a big letdown gameplay wise but graphic wise it was just a great improvement um but but let's hope for battlefront 2 to be a little bit better i mean the only way we can be able to like kind of make a dent against ea on battlefront 2 is if we don't pre-order that's my idea i think nobody should pre-order this game so ea can get their freaking you know minds into the game instead of the money because i know if you pre-order like immediately they're gonna take all your money and they're gonna be like, all right, let's put this in DLC because they're, they're already paying us for the game. You know, they're, they're already paying us. They're not listening. They didn't listen to the first one, so might as well put everything in DLC. Let's put this map, this map that we already have in the game. Let's put it in DLC. So you see, guys, do not pre-order Battlefront 2. It's a big no-no because you're giving the money to the developers that they haven't done crap. I mean, they work for hours, of course, into the game, but at the same time, they're taking away stuff from the game because you, you're paying them already, way ahead of schedule. You haven't even played the game. That's the problem with pre-ordering. The only games I will probably pre-order, you know, ahead of time will probably be Final Fantasy games and, you know, games like from Blizzard and stuff like that. Like, that will be the only time I'll pre-order. And also maybe, like, games like Fallout 4 and several other games that I like. I mean, those are the only, you know, excuses that I have for pre-ordering. But, like, games for FPS, like, uh, you know, I, I did doubt it Overwatch a long time ago. I doubted Borderlands. I doubted, you know... What's that other one called? Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played Call of Duty in a long time. I forgot the name. So, like, yeah. 
it's just a big like just be self-aware from these kinds of games because they you don't even know what EA has up their sleeve this time. They might put a, again half of the game on DLC. So that's all I want to talk about today, guys. Do not pre-order the game. It could be dangerous. It could be a trap because they're gonna you know cut out stuff from the game, and that's a bad thing. So leave a comment, guys, if you agree with me. If you guys don't, you know. That's okay with me. And also leave a like in the video. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, more topics, subscribe for more because there's going to be more stuff coming up to my channel. What the fuck I'm talking about? Look at yeah. this shit. That's how we play Overwatch, people. Victor. Right there. Not right there. Shit on dreams. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Look at Yo, no, King Giant. Fair. Yeah. Yeah, I no joke, I'm Check out that stupid, uh... Oh! 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 Oh